Hey, yo, this is Kev. I gotta talk about this fucking dude that just Natalie Decker sh and shit. Ha like, this dude named Salty or whatever, man. He, every single thing that he's did. I know this might kind of sound crazy or whatever, but every single thing that he's did is an exact, and I mean it, an exact representation of me. Like, down to the smallest detail. Like, something that there's no chance in the world that two people would have this much in common and you know the funniest thing about all of it is is before he ever even came along I was exactly what she said like everything that he said about himself was me like everything you know he calls himself an internet troll he talks dirty talk shit stuff like that and but like that's me like i talk shit i'm dirty I, I talk dirty shit like that like i told her i you know eat her ass and shit like that that that's a whole other story okay i know that that's not right i understand I, I was just i was just in a different mindset to where i didn't give a shit what i said or who i said it to and it's sad because most guys out there will tell a girl anything she wants to hear just to be able to sleep with her just to be able to get in her pants or just to be able to you know feel love or feel compassion and stuff like that and dude i don't know i don't know if this chick thought like i was too much to handle or if she thought that and like it just wouldn't work out or if she thought that she didn't want me to get mad or she didn't want us to fight or argue. i do i don't know i don't really don't care because you, you just wasted so much fucking valuable time with this dude and he literally I feel like you're at you know I feel like you're stuck with him you're stuck with this particular situation to the point to where you just have to live it you just have to live it out uh, but yeah she dude she acts like this dude just like the fucking sun rises and shines in his ass crack and it's not like that dude this dude is not that cool you know what I mean? He is not nothing special. He ain't, ain't nothing cool about him. But, she, man, she acts like he is, like, out of this world or something. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know what's wrong with this chick. She is, there, she's got some kind of chemical imbalance in her brain or something. Because she, she don't know how to just be cool. Like, she don't know how to just sit back, chill, relax... Have a good old time. And, you know, she's always on edge. She's always, you know, worried about this or worried about... She's always on edge about everything. And, like, I understand that you have stuff to be on edge about. But there's times for you to sit back and relax and, and chill out for a moment. And you don't know the difference between them. So you think that you're constantly competing with somebody or you're constantly in competition with everything you do. And, and whose fault is that? Like, that's nobody's fault but your own. There's no sense in sitting here, you know, constantly competing with everybody. When some people are not trying to compete with you, they're just trying to enjoy your company or they're just trying to get to know you a little bit more, you know? And the funny thing about it is, is you have to see a person from every aspect of life, okay? They're good, they're bad, they're worst day possible. You have to see what who they are and how they react, wh what kind of person they are when they're mad, what kind of person they are when they're happy, what kind of person they are when they can't stand the person that they're talking about. You know what I mean? You have to see what that is. Because if you don't see every aspect of it, then what's the sense in, in wasting any more time? You know what I mean? But, like I said, dude, I don't mean to talk about this chick so much, but for some odd reason, I don't know how, okay? But she has found some way to know everything about me. And I mean that. Like, she knows everything about me. And it's not fair because, like, I don't know nothing about you or I don't know this or this or this or this. Good luck, everybody. So, how, like, how in the world do you know so much about me? You know what I mean? Like, how? How now, brown cow?
One left to green. Line Look, up on it's, the inside. It's fucking closed. Squidward. Road is closed. He's pissed. He's got that restless bitch face. <laughs> but no, dude, I, like I swear, I don't know, man. I have tried and tried and tried to understand this chick. And she she's the type where she puts every single person out there, every guy, she puts them in a category or in a certain bracket. You know what I mean? Like this person here, he's allowed to, or he ain't allowed to say nothing at all. This person here, he's allowed to say something, but he might, you know, get a strike or he, he can say stuff and he might not be able to, you know, take back what he says. This dude here, he can say whatever he wants to say. Don't matter. Oh, well, laugh, laugh, funny, funny. And then there's some people out there, some dudes out there where they could tell you to eat shit, die. And you later that day, you would be perfectly fine with them. It wouldn't be no big deal. So, like, you see how that works? Like, I, like she might look at me like I'm the guy that's like, oh, well, if you say something and you can't take that back, you know what I mean? And I'm sitting there like, Man, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Like, why? I'm not worried about that. Hell. I go on the green, not on the pace car. Hey, y'all. Did y'all see where they do that new restart thing? Restart zone? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I just wait for the little lights to show up, and then I stomp on them. Well, you just gotta be careful because they got black flags and all kinds of stuff if you do it outside the zone. I don't know if it's implemented right now, but you just gotta be careful. Man, I could take off and pull off as soon as that pace car goes in, and as long as I don't pass them before pit road, it's all gravy. But I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm talking. About, I'm talking about the new restart restart zone. I don't think the restart zone has been uh, Get ready. put in the Going game green. yet. As in them using it yet. Yeah, yeah, it's like been using it for a season three. Sweet to one go. Post car is off, time to do your job. Well, it's supposed to show like a mile per hour up there with the get ready inside line. Green, green, green. What happened on the other side line there, guys? There's going to be a wreck in a second watch. Uh. Told you. Six, if you get the shuffle down, somebody gets to your inside, hold your lane. 
Yeah, I would if I would have got pushed in there. Come on, three. You can't go up and down the track like that. What the fuck are you saving? I wasn't even on your bumper, six. I, I fucking saved with the fucking book. You're in fourth position. Sorry about that. Man, that's bull crap. They they are to fix be able to fix it to where which I know the caution probably would have came out, but they need to be able to fix it to where it's wondering to get me for speeding on pit road, but they ought to fix it to where like if you get knocked yeah. down onto pit road, then you have Five, you know, it's some way to three, two, one, right here. 